Thank you. All right. I want to share on um, something that is not so much about love, but if you listen very well, you are going to hear about love. All right? Because the subject of love seems to be leaving you hanging every time. And for ages, people have been writing and talking, singing about love. And it's all about sentiment and feelings. You know, feelings are overemphasized now. We use feelings to sell things. We use feelings to deceive. We use feelings to buy the things we don't need at the amount we can't afford for, you know, price. You, you know you can't afford it, but your feeling just gives in. And you buy into it, and you are bought. So feelings are overemphasized. At the same time, we seem to be ignorant of what our feelings do to us. We cannot quantify the amount of money we spend on our feelings. Why is it that the chewables are sold at the entrance of the shops? Deliberately. Every shop, the things that you just buy without thinking, you think they don't matter. They are the entrance. So whether you're going in or you're coming out, you stop by and buy. And if you add up those 20p, did I say 20p? Nobody is using 20p. 20 pounds. If you add up how much you spend daily on the chewables, and most of these things are things that are not healthy, I'm bringing that to say that we need to become more aware of the things we do based on feelings and sentiments. And this has also affected the way we talk about relationship. The dating sites are making millions of you because of what you don't know. Somebody is disappointed in a relationship and jumps to the internet. People are clicking their ways into finding mates they think are perfect. But you and I know there's no perfect person on planet Earth. There's nobody that is perfect. Okay, so let's quickly look at this. That scripture we read this morning, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I want us to look at verse 11 because of the time we have available. Verse 11. Well, it simply says, when I was a child, I, two things mentioned there. I speak as a child. You know, that's uh, old King James English. I speak. All right. Verse 11. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But now when I became a man, I put away childish things. It amazes me the way we assess beauty. If I ask everybody here today, what is love? Maybe we'll give the definition of love as many as the number of people in this room. Because we all have ways we feel is love. If he holds my hand every day, he loves me. If he tells me he loves me, he loves me. If he does things for me, he loves me. He takes me to the shop every time, he loves me. Now, these are different people. If he kisses me, he loves me. What is love? What is love? Love is a person. God is love. God is love. So every act of love that is at variance with his nature can be love. Do we agree? Do we agree? Love that takes advantage of you is not love. Love that does not, does not bring out the best out of you is not love. Love that manipulates you is not love. But how do we express love? Is this not with all these feelings? If I give him this, then he's going to listen to 